Order. Question number four, Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Science and Innovation and asks, what reports has he received on growth in New Zealand's technology sector? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, good news. Last week I helped launch the Technology Investment Network's 2005 TIN report, which shows New Zealand's top 200 high-tech companies collectively grew to nearly $9 billion in annual revenue last year, a 600 million or 7.3 per cent increase in one year. The report shows our high-tech businesses are an impressive growth story that's helping to rapidly diversify the New Zealand economy. Export revenues are up to an all-time high of $6.5 billion, and a record 19 companies now have revenues of $100 million a year or more. Job growth is also impressive, with 2,410 new jobs created in the 2014-15 year amongst TIN 200 companies. Total job numbers in the TIN 200 now 37,333. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, how much is the technology sector investing in research and development? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, R&D is a critical part of high-tech companies innovating and staying ahead of the competition. The total expenditure on R&D across the TIN 2100 companies in 2015 will hit nearly $1 billion in one year, a massive 16 per cent increase. The government is working hard to continue to encourage more companies to invest more in R&D through the Callaghan Innovation Grant System. We have moved away from R&D tax credits, which had companies merely reclassifying existing expenditure. Uh, Mr Speaker, the total cross-government science spend has increased to $1.5 billion a year, and it's showing in sectors like the tech sector. Supplementary. Order. You're in luck today, Mr Falcon. Order. Supplementary question, Brett Thank Hudson. you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what else is the government doing to encourage the growth of high-tech and Order. innovative companies? Order. 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 I'll be inviting the member to start again. If members here don't want to wait for supplementaries, they don't have to stay in the House to do so. Supplementary question, Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what else is the government doing to encourage the growth of high-tech and innovative companies? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, the report highlights what New Zealand tech companies can achieve with the help of positive government policies that remove roadblocks to their growth. For example, there is our ranking as a country out last week as second in the world for ease of doing business. We're investing more in skills and education, like the new ICT grad schools in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch, also investing more in engineering and other ICT places at universities, working in the regions with Callaghan Innovation and NZTE and the new regional research institutes, and being open for business to the world, encouraging foreign investment, international education and new trade agreements like the Korean FTA and the TPPA. Question number five, James Shaw. Thank you, Mr. 